Hey there, it's Charity Oland with Fountain Mortgage, and I am back for Future Proof this week. Last week, we talked about one of my favorite subjects, which is pop-by gifts for your clients. We talked about what an important part of your marketing strategy those can be. We talked about the importance of packaging and making sure that that whatever gift you're dropping off is really special. And um, at the end, we talked about how to find ideas. But this week, I thought I'd get really specific and share with you five of the best ideas um, of pop-by gifts that we've delivered to our real estate agent partners over the last several years. Actually, I had 10. I have 10. So I'm going to do five this week and we'll do the other five next week. So we'll show you photos. We'll talk about how we packaged it, how we put it together, and a little bit about cost with each of those. Okay, so these first several, I'm going to talk about my mason jar obsession. My first several have to do with mason jars. I think mason jars are um, a little overused in weddings and things, sure, but they're inexpensive. Um, and when it comes to packaging a pop by gift, they are universally loved and they make everything look great. So the first one that um, I wanted to talk about, it was this mixed cocktail mason jar. All we did was take a regular wide mouth mason jar. We bought seven ounce um, soft drinks, seven up, Coke, diet Coke, ginger ale, put that inside of the mason jar. And then on the outside, we used some Baker's twine and tied a little airline bottle of um, liquor that would pair with that. And then the key and the packaging also is that cute paper straw. We attached that um, to the outside to hold that bottle on. Inexpensive, really great. Um, but before I go further, because we do have several alcohol gifts here, when it comes to alcohol, we're delivering these um, directly to real estate offices where adults work. If you're going to deliver a gift to a client's home, my recommendation, if it is alcohol, um, is that you make sure you hand that directly to an adult who lives in the home so you don't come into any liability issues. Um, the next one we did on Cinco de Mayo. Gift number two is our Cinco de Mayo margarita gift, also in a mason jar and very similar. So margarita mixer on the inside of that jar, used a string to tie the tequila to the outside. We included a little packet of salt, you know, the kind you can pick up at any restaurant or restaurant supply store, um, the paper package, and then we put a whole lime on top and then a, um, a cute little card along with that for Cinco de Mayo. Very inexpensive, again, just a few dollars for each of these gifts. Moving away from alcohol, our, our third pop by a gift idea that I really liked. Um, we did these for a specific real estate brokerage. Um, and so we put their initials, the name of their company on the top of this jar. And this is a pedicure in a jar. We had things like fingernail clippers, um, the toe separators, cotton balls, nail files, and nail polish. I think less than $5 for that entire gift. Okay, I think that completes the mason jar uh, category but I do love a mason jar and I'm sure we'll be doing more of those. Um, 4th of July, we did a 4th of July gift. As you'll see here, it was a package of Pop Rocks. I had wanted to include a, a box of sparklers with this. I couldn't find them in time, so I think it would be cute if you added that, but this was a package of uh, Pop Rock candy, if you remember that from when you are a kid, always a fun, fun time. Um, and then the glasses that make the fireworks look really cool. Yeah, they also do these at Christmas time. They make um, different shapes and pictures with Christmas lights. I ordered those on Amazon in bulk. If there's anything in your gift that people might not know what it is, um, be sure to include something maybe with a little humor that lets them know. We're going to round out um, today's list of five with a gift that we gave away on National Beer Day. Again, this is a lot of alcohol in this one, but um, we did a bucket. Got, again, got these buckets, filled them with ice and um, several varieties of, we did bottled water in there as well in case people didn't drink beer and some different types of beer, whole limes to go with that. Um, and then what I really liked about this gift was the um, call to action tag that we included. We'll show you an example here. It was a bucket list. Um, if you get it, it ties into the bucket uh, for end of summer. We gave this away at the end of summer during uh, National Beer Day, and it was like a checklist, right? Enjoy a sunset, go visit a lake, um, and give us a call would be the third item on the bucket list. But the um, call to action for you might be give me a call for a uh, neighborhood report or a price opinion on your home. Again, include your picture and your phone number. Um, and you could do this with soft drinks, with anything else that you'd like to put in a bucket and make a bucket list. So those are the first five I wanted to share with you. Hopefully this gets some of your creative juices flowing, or if you just want to um, use these ideas directly, that's fine with us too. We're happy to share. Um, be sure to come back next week where I talk about the next five ideas. Again, I hope you're well, and I hope to see you soon.